God bless you. You can recover your seats. Choristers, you want to minister? We can we'll continue from here. Tonight is supposed to be a night of worship. But God is adding something extra to the worship that you have given him. And that is his blessings that he said to release upon us tonight. And I can assure you, you will never go back home the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Just rise up now and begin to appreciate the Lord for what he has done so far. Just give him praise. Give him worship. Give him all the glory. Appreciate his holy name. Just give him worship. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And I'd like you to lift up your voice to him and say, Father. Tonight, Tonight, visit me specially. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Father, visit me specially. Visit me specially. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We give you all the glory. We give you all We give you all the glory. We give you all Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. What a mighty God we serve, hallelujah. in heaven tonight we declare your majesty we acknowledge you as our God the father of your children the one that bestows blessings upon us the God that can do all things the God that is an ever present help in times of trouble the God of divine visitation. Please accept our thanks tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight, as your word comes, do something good. Amen. Do something wonderful. Amen. Touch the lives of men. Amen. Reverse the irreversible. Amen. 
Turn their destinies around for the better. And let your blessings be released upon us. In this meeting tonight, Father, save souls. Deliver the oppressed. Set the captives free. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, the one that believes that tonight is his night, shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. The one that is very certain that he will not go home without receiving the Father's blessings, let his Amen be the loudest tonight. God bless you, you can recover your seats. Genesis chapter 27. The Father's blessings. Genesis 27. I'll read from verse 1 to 4. And then from verse 20 to 29. Genesis 27. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau, his eldest son, and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons thy quiver and thy bow and go out to the field and take me some venison and make me savory meat such as I love and bring it to me that I may eat that my soul may bless thee before I die. Now Rebekah heard all of this and packaged Jacob to go do according to what the father wanted. And so let's go to verse 20. Jacob came back with all that he had done for his father to bless him. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy as his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him. And said, see, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord had blessed. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee. And nations bow down to thee. Amen. Be Lord over thy brethren. Amen. And let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Amen. Cursed be everyone that curseth thee. Amen. And blessed be he that blessed thee. Amen. Isaac was about to die. And he looked around, he said, before I die, let me release from my inside a special blessing for my first son. 
And he called him. He sent for him. He said, Esau, please go. You know what I like and what I enjoy. Take up your weapons and go and get me something special that I will eat and be happy so I can bless you and my soul will bless you. Of course, you know the rest of the story. Rebecca heard. She had preference for Jacob. She helped Jacob do all that is needed to be done. Get venison for the father. Package him so well. Make sure his body looks like that of Esau. Because by now Isaac was old. And probably he couldn't see very well. So all he needed to do was to feel the body of the child, of the son. And of course, Jacob had his way. And he received the father's blessing. One interesting thing about the Father's blessing is that once it is pronounced, it can almost be irreversible. I'm praying for someone here tonight. That kind of irreversible blessing is coming your way after this meeting. Now, for those of you who follow through the special divine encounter program that Adigio ministered for three days, on the third day, the third day, all he did was to talk about the Father's blessings. If you don't have that tape, look for it. If you are not here, you didn't attend that meeting, look for that message. That Adigio did justice to the Father's blessings. I'm going to just highlight a few things tonight as the Spirit leads. And then I'll pronounce a blessing upon all of you. And we'll be on our way home. One thing is obvious. God is the ultimate Father. I'm sure you know that. And you can find that in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. But then when he created man in his own image, the first thing he did in Genesis 1, 27 down to 28, the Bible says, and God blessed them. After blessing them, that is in verse 28, he now commanded them. He did not stop at blessing them. He says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, this is now a command. He says, be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion. And God also went ahead. Because he said he created man in his own image. And that which he carries inside of him, he deposited inside of man. So if God be the ultimate father, then you that God has made a father also has the power to release a blessing upon your children and that blessing will stick. Isaac blessed Jacob. And by the time he had released the blessing, Esau showed up. But because the blessing had gone forth, it was difficult to reverse. May I pray for everyone here tonight. In the name that is above every other name, you are blessed. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I command you from today, be fruitful. Have dominion. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. Multiply in the name of Jesus. So, God recognizes the authority of fathers over their children. But because you cannot give what you don't have, 
The words of your mouth is as powerful as what you carry. If you carry Christ in you, whatever you declare, God himself will back them up. And that is why I know that every blessing that is going forth from this altar will come back with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. One major thing that the Father's blessing can do because our Father and the Lord dealt with so many of them, which is why I said you should get the tape. Is that when your Father blesses you from his heart, miracles that are bigger than your size will be released to you. In other words, miracles you don't qualify for. If your father pours out his heart in blessing you, there is no limit to how far you can go. And that is why tonight my heart is set. And I declare from this altar, your blessings are irreversible. <laughs> in Genesis chapter 27 verses 22 to 23, the blessings that Jacob received through the pronouncement of his father was not supposed to be for him. But because the word has gone forth from the mouth of the father, it will not return without accomplishing purpose. That is why in the life of Jacob at some point, he had an encounter with God. His name was changed from Jacob to Israel. A man suddenly became a nation. I pray for someone here tonight. In the name that is above every other name. The Lord by himself will take you to levels that you never thought you could achieve in the name of Jesus. The Father's blessings. And also reverse causes. And that is where I'm going to dwell on tonight. When you talk about fathers, you have biological fathers and you have spiritual fathers. If per adventure your biological father had cursed you because you incurred his wrath and then he suddenly dies and probably you didn't have the opportunity to reconcile with him and that curse you now carry is beginning to affect everything that you are doing in life then it is also possible for your spiritual father in the name of Jesus to reverse that course. In Genesis chapter 49, Genesis chapter 49 verses 3 and 4, the Bible talks about Reuben after he messed up seriously and it was time for the father to release the blessing he looked at him and he said Reuben thou art my firstborn thou art my might and the beginning of my strength the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power unstable as water Thou shalt not excel. Because thou wentest to the father's bed, to thy father's bed, then defilest thou it. He went up to my couch. He incurred the wrath of his father. The father pronounced a curse 
and said to him, for as long as you live, you will be unstable. You will not excel. The firstborn. Reuben lived on with that attitude. Everywhere he went, he was a mediocre. Even before his brethren. Until one day, Moses, the man of God, the spiritual father at that time, he was about to die. And he called all the children of Israel to bless them. In Deuteronomy chapter 33, verses 1 and 6. Deuteronomy 33, 1 and 6. The Bible says, this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. Verse 6. It says, let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. On that day, the curse upon Reuben was reversed. I stand tonight on this altar in the order of our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, to declare in the life of anyone here under the yoke of any cause, whether it was deserved or undeserved, in the name that is above every other name, all such causes are reversed. I say tonight, they are reversed. Again, I say in the name of Jesus, they are reversed. Beginning from today, the blessings of the Father, which is coming from this altar, will rest upon you and your household in the name of Jesus. You are here tonight. You know you had that kind of challenge. While your dad, I mean your father was alive. You had some issues with him. And he opened his mouth and pronounced a curse on you. You didn't have the opportunity to make it up with him. Until he died. Tonight, I'm saying to you from this altar, all such causes are reversed. <laughs> but the Father's blessing, or the Father's blessings, according to the DGO, they don't come cheap. There are things you must do to provoke the blessing. As he called Esau, my son, go and get me venison. Let me eat so that my soul will bless you. Now you are here tonight. Your biological father is still alive. Whatever you need to do to get his blessings, don't hesitate to do them. Two things I will share with you. And I begin to round up. Number one, you must learn to honor your father. In Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on earth. Whatever you need to do as a child, to honor your father, don't hesitate to do so. The shortest or the fastest way 
To have short life is for you not to honor your parents. It's in scriptures. It said that it may be well with thee. So learn to honor your father. It doesn't matter how bad you think he is. He is your father. God has delegated the authority upon him. And when he blesses, he sticks. And when he causes, it can also affect you. Number two, deliberately go out of your way to make your father happy. Do something unusual that will provoke the father's blessing. By the grace of God, my father is alive. And I know by the grace of God the things, because I understand scriptures, the things that I do deliberately to make sure he's happy. Anytime he sees me, he's blessing. Anytime he sees me, I call him on phone, he's praying, he's releasing a blessing. I know of a young man several years ago he would abuse his father in public people would be calling him to order but he thought I mean nobody could stop him but the father cursed him by the time he grew up to become a father he had sons and they would come together and bring out their father in public and be beating him up. They would beat him up and strip him naked. Because he was carrying on upon him the curse of many years ago. I pray for someone here. By the mercies of God, any of such curses that followed you to this meeting, they are reversed in the name of Jesus. But you must cry for mercy. But adventure, you did something that incurred the wrath of your father. And he released the cause. Even if it has been reversed. As it's been reversed today, the mercies of God will continue to speak for you. But you must amend your ways. Rise up on your feet tonight. The blessings of the Father. I'd like you to lift up your hands to him. And begin to talk to the Lord. Father, tonight I desire your blessings. Tonight, I will not leave this meeting without being blessed. Everything working against my life and destiny. Whether there are things that I know of, and th or things that I don't know. Let your mercy prevail over judgment. The blessings of tonight will open doors to you. But you must desire it from the depth of your heart. Everything I have done in the past that have incurred the wrath of my father. Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me.
you are here tonight you know deep in your spirit that the reason why you are not making progress in life or the reason why your progress is slow is because you know you are carrying a curse from your father and you know that you actually did something wrong that made your father release that curse on you I've prayed a general prayer but if you are here you are in this meeting and you're serious you want to be completely liberated from that curse I want you to find your way to the altar you know it that what is limiting you today is because of the cause of your father that is speaking against you just find your way to the altar find your way to the altar quickly come quickly come quickly come i want to pray specially for you because after tonight all such causes will become things of the past serious moment I'd like you to talk to the Lord now ask the Lord for mercy it is possible you did all of this before you gave your life to Christ or you did all of this out of ignorance it is also possible you did it knowing very well the implications of what you did now ask the Lord for mercy Father, tonight show me mercy. Let the blood of Jesus speak for me tonight. With a repentant heart, talk to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ministers of God, stretch forth your hands towards these brethren and pray for them. Pray for them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. He he to you especially is because for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction whatever a man sows he will reap if God does not intervene in your case and in your situation beyond just reversing the course, the repercussions will be ahead of you waiting to manifest. And that is why it's important you ask the Lord for mercy. Father, let not this speak against me now or in the future. Let your mercy prevail over judgment and let the blood of Jesus speak for me. Pray that prayer with a heart of understanding. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. By your name, you crushed principalities. your children whose hands are lifted up to you tonight. They are standing before your altar. They have confessed with their mouths. They have asked for your mercy. And Lord, I stand this day as your son over their lives. And I pray in the name that is above every other name. Every cause that these ones have carried, that have limited them from making progress in life, 
that has been speaking against their lives and destiny that is threatening their fulfilling destiny the same way Moses stood as your son on that day and blessed the children of Israel one after the other Lord I stand in that order tonight and I declare in the name of Jesus all such causes that have followed you thus far by the mercies of the God of the Lord and by the blood of Jesus they are cancelled now they are reversed now in the name of Jesus Christ the causes of your father that has left you without making progress beginning from today the 16th day of February 2020 in the name that is above every other name you are free by the blood of Jesus you are liberated permanently beginning from now Go and make progress. Amen. Go and prosper. Amen. Go and do great exploits. Amen. Go and succeed. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name, I have declared. Amen. It is done. God bless you. You can go back to your seats. Every one of us, please rise up now. Rise up now. What is it that you expect to receive from the Lord tonight? We have given him worship. The food that he loves so much. We have praised him tonight. Now it is, the time has come for his blessings to be released upon us. I'd like you to stretch forth your hands towards the altar. And I'd like you to lay a demand on tonight. The first edition of this program. Ask the Lord for a special blessing. My Father, tonight. Make me a partaker. Make me a beneficiary of your blessing. One of the things the Father's blessings can do is that it will give you miracles beyond what you can carry. Pray for that blessing tonight. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. As I pray for you tonight, let your amen be loud and clear. Amen. Father, I stand before all these your children that you have brought before your presence tonight. Members of the Champions Cathedral family. A people that you have set aside for your purpose and for your glory. A people that you have brought under this umbrella to prosper them and to take them to new levels in life. A people that you have drawn to yourself. For uncommon exploits and for unusual encounters. A people, Father, you have redeemed by your blood. I pray for them tonight. 
from the depth of my heart. Father, all these your children, they are blessed. I bless you with the blessing of a father that cannot be reversed. You are blessed. Your children are blessed. Your marriage is blessed. Your business is blessed. The works of your hands are blessed. Every inherited cause that is speaking against your life and your destiny. Tonight, they are destroyed. Your son will not set at noonday. None of you will die before your time. You will not bury your children. All your children will be greater than you. God will cover your nakedness. He will take away your shame. He will wipe away all your tears. No more embarrassment for you. You will not struggle to feed anymore. Joblessness will be a thing of the past for you. Whatever has hindered your progress in your family will not be able to stop you anymore. You will be a voice in your family. You will be a star in your generation. Your upward movement in life can never be truncated anymore. Those who have been mocking you will be totally disgraced. I command you in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue. Have dominion. Pursue. Overtake. Recover all. In the name of Jesus. Every single sister in the house. Trust him, the Lord, for a life partner. Before the end of this year, the Lord will remember you. Every brother of marriageable age, in the name that is above every other name, this year 2020 will not pass you by. Anyone that will rise up against you after tonight, they will pay with their own lives. You are blessed beyond the causes of men. Whoever causes you from today is cursed. Whoever blesses you is blessed. Receive power to become number one. In your career, you will be number one. In your business, number one. In your ministry, number one. In your academics, number one. In the name of Jesus. Anyone competing with you will bow before you. God will suspend protocols for your sakes. You will reach your goal. You will serve the Lord. This year will end gloriously for you. Your joy shall be full. So shall it be. In the name of God the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus mighty name. I have prayed. You believe it is settled. Shout the loudest. Amen.
Just go ahead and celebrate the Lord tonight. Celebrate Him. 